<clears throat> Good afternoon. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's the first time I've spoken today. Good afternoon and welcome to part 22 of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, thank you for your patience. As... Okay. Thank you for your patience as I missed yesterday's broadcast <clears throat> due to a huge windstorm that cut through the Pacific Northwest over the weekend. And welcome. Uh, many places around me lost power. In fact, um, most of um, the western part of Washington state lost power. And I ended up being okay because I have a generator. But uh, I also lost internet, so I wasn't able to do my broadcast yesterday. And uh, it took a while for everything to get sorted today. So here I am, and we don't have much time, but we'll do our best to make use of the time we have. Probably won't be able to do a full four hour live stream. In fact, I've got a, uh, a 4.30 hard stop so that gives us about two and a half hours. So there you go, two and a half hours to pick up where we left off in Mass Effect 2. Josh Bunton on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Good afternoon, Ox. How's the yard after your wild weather over the weekend? Covered in sticks and leaves. Um, it's a pretty big mess. Uh, so I'm going to have to have it taken uh, taken care of so that the leaves don't kill the grass. Jocelyn Ryan says, welcome back, Ox. Thank you very much, Jocelyn Ryan. And then Jonathan on uh, YouTube became a bronze ox. Hey there, Jonathan. So good to see you. And Do Rag says, afternoon, Ox. Thank you, Do Rag. Afternoon to you. Julian Z says, Ox, so good to see you. Are you okay? We missed you yesterday. Glad you're back for Mass Effect Tuesday, even if it is a shorter one. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I, I'm doing uh, great, feeling fine, and glad to be here. And glad to be back in Mass Effect. Missed it. Okay, so we had just solved uh, Thane. We, have, we had just solved Thane's issue aboard the Citadel. Okay, so we've got a couple more to get through. Is there anything else about the Citadel? A forged ID has been located while assaulting Harkin's hideout in the Zakara Ward's factory district. It may prove useful to someone. What a forged ID. Well, it's not giving me any, any indication who I should send this to. I do recall finding the forged ID in my last broadcast, but I have no idea who to give it to. Uh, and I'm not really seeing anything else on uh, the Citadel. We already completed these Citadel quests, and that's the last one. So I think we should go back to the ship and find a new place to go. Clone Jacob says, afternoon. I got to study, so I'll catch the video on demand of this later. Hope you have a good one, Ox. Thank you, Clone Jacob. 
Hope you have a good one too. Good luck with your studies. And Gontro Dim says, glad to see you're doing fine. Thank you, Gontro. I'm doing just fine. Julian Z says, also, is your house okay from the windstorm? No damage? Yeah, my house uh, is unscathed. So when I bought this house, there were a bunch of um, kind of dead trees growing up around it. And I'm, I'm smack dab in a big forested area. Like, my house was built in what at one time was just pure forest. We've seen bears in my backyard and deer come all the time to eat from my pear tree. So it's kind of out, yeah, it's out there. Um, but so we had these dead trees and one of the first things I did when I bought the house is I had all of the dead trees, like 15 or, or less feet away from my house, cut down. That way, if there was ever a big storm like this, my house would be spared. And I, I think it was a good a good idea. We've had a couple of big wind storms since I've moved in here and um, no damage to the house yet. Wasteland w Wanderer says, Hi Ox, sorry I've missed so many streams. Life has been hectic. I know what that's like. Loved the Fallout Metro series. Thank you, Wasteland Wanderers. Uh, you're welcome for the, the Metro series. I had a lot of fun putting that together. I do have a video for the weekend. It's Fallout. It's Fallout 3. It's not Fallout 3 Metro. So tune in this Saturday to see exactly what I've got cooked up for you guys. All right. To the ship. Are those holding cells? Did we ever go in there? Oh. Okay then. Okay, so <clears throat> chat was miffed with me that I didn't romance Miranda in my last broadcast. And uh, the reason they were miffed with me is because apparently I didn't have to make my no turnsy backsies decision at that time. According to the chat that I remember re reading last week, you can have a fling. You, here's the rules. You can have one fling with one of the romanceable, uh, 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 romanceable partners aboard the ship. And then after the fling, you make your decision. So you don't have to make your decision during the fling, right? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks, Kelly. I'll be back. I'm going to go have a fling with Miranda. So let's see. I, 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 I might have... Uh, completely ruined it because at the time I kind of shut her down and said, hey, let's just keep things professional. So maybe I've lost my opportunity, but we're going to go back to Miranda, see if we can have the fling without making our romance choice of the game and then move on with with what there is. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Ooh. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. That's it. So, yeah. If you don't take her up on that offer to inspect your body, when the uh, opportunity arises, I guess you'll miss out on it. So, all the Miranda fans out there, I'm sorry. We'll have to get our jollies uh, in another way. Dragon Fan says, after finishing all loyalty missions, recommend first starting Firewalker missions to get the hang of controls and then start Project Overlord. Don't understand what you're saying at all. No idea what any of that means. But I'm sure it'll make a lot more sense when I get there. Freddie Simmons says, you have deer coming to your yard? Oh, how I envy you. Uh, yes, 
I don't shoot them. I am I'm not a big hunter. My dad was, my grandfather was, but I'm I'm not big into No it. messages for you, Commander. Zach says Jack is still available. That's true. Jack is still available. All right, hold on a second. Let's talk with Kelly. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. What the hell? From Tombs. What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on the Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard. And I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. Ooh. Tombs. Uh, okay, so let's go check out on the on the crew that we helped out. That was Thane. And Garrus, wasn't it? something. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. Zach with an AK says Jack is still available. Oh, yeah, there's. we've got a lot of options ahead of us. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. That's irresponsible, that's weird, or that's convenient. That's weird. You Dreller. Weird. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh. That time, laser dot trembles on the skull. 
Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. Hey, bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. Interesting. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. Oh, wow. Some random stranger jumps between him and his mark with vivid sunset eyes. Did he fall in love or something? The last time we talked, you remembered one of your uh, assassinees. That uh, a bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw I should it. get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You're lonely is the Paragon option? It's a little insulting. I mean, maybe it's accurate, but... It's just business. I can see how that's, um, renegade. I talk because he's interesting. I haven't had a chance to speak to a drawl before. It's been fascinating. I doubt many humans have. There are only a few hundred thousand of us left after all. I won't keep you. Okay. Chininator says, hey Ox, sorry I'm late. Here's my late fee. Well, thank you, Chininator. You're so kind. I'm glad you made it today. All right, uh, and then there's Garrus. Let's see how, uh, let's see what closure we have with him now that we've completed his loyalty mission. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. <laughs> Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around, and I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. 
This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. <laughs> we uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. So I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work right. off stress. Right. We I get guess. it, Garrus. We... <laughs> I had reach. She had flexibility. Come on, man. Just That's a humble brag is what that is. That's not even a humble brag. That's just a brag. You've got reach. Garrus, calm down. All right. Uh. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Oh, my God. I had reach, but she had flexibility. Oh, Garrus. <laughs> right, let's find something else to do. Uh, should I feed the fish? No, I don't need to. Kelly's got that, so... No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly! Ah! Uh, Freddie Simmons says, of all of my romances, Jack is among my favorite. I do enjoy Jack as a character. Julian Z says, Ox, apparently you can use the forged ID with the two Asari talking in CSEC. Oh, so it's not for another quest? We just happen upon them? And then Eric J says, I'm with you to the end. That's why Garrus is a true friend and a, if not the, fan favorite. Garrus is the best. Uh, okay, well, let's see if we can give the uh, that forged ID to the two Asari talking in CSEC. All right, uh, he's got a new outfit now, right? Ooh. Those two are blasted. That one's clean. Looking good. He's got a new outfit now, too, right? Oh yeah, those shades. I think that's the new one though. Okay, three points. I'm, I've been saving up one more for Assault Mastery for Shepard. So I'm gonna continue to save up for that that next point. We've only got one for Thane, Gar uh, Thane and Garrus. Oh shoot. CSEC. Two Asari and CSEC. Oh, come on. Don't tell me what Zakara is, Presidium. What? I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. <laughs> Sir, it's a 15 centimet centimeter serrated blade. You humans are racist! Uh, okay. Well, this is CSEC, right? Are we at CSEC? That was CSEC? Yeah, there's CSEC. Two Asari and CSEC. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Okay, that just goes upstairs. We've left CSEC. We're now on the Zakura Ward. I think closer to the stairs, says Pyro. Colonies. 
Third stage colonists are being recruited for Exogeny Corporation's Arrows facility. Visit your local Colonial Administration office to sign up today. Uh, ah! I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the Council, they've taken over CSEC Customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. <laughs> your kind? God. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Okay, so we do have the forged IDs, but... Let's talk to Customs first. Maybe we can find out more to the story than what she's willing to tell us. Maybe there's a reason. Uh... Pencil pusher outside CSEC. That was... The lady over here, right? You'll have to wait for the next shuttle. You made me miss the last one. You needed to go through security. Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you tried to bring a 15 centimeter serrated blade on a public shuttle. You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, Colin R says, hey, Ox, finished basic a few days ago. How are you doing? Hey, congratulations, Colin, on finishing basic. I'm doing really well. Uh, the coffee is helping me, uh, helping me feel a lot better today. Sarvis the Dro says, I highly recommend Jacob's loyalty mission next, or Jack's, if you're interested in romancing her, or just getting to know more of her story. All right, thank you, Sarvis the Dro. A survivor of the old era says, glad to see you back online, Ox. Happy Mass Effect Monday. Yeah, Monday, quote unquote. And then Michael Yang says, for your information, your last Tormented Souls episode's thumbnail is Assassin's Creed? How do I keep making these mistakes? Ugh. All right, thank you for that one, Michael. I really appreciate it. I'll try and fix it after the broadcast. I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk death infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of c undercover agents. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Wow. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were you made. You think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be Thanks safe. for your time. Next. All right, we had uh, gone through that, um, that last dialogue option already, which is why I skipped it. But we get some Paragon. All right, so I'm, I'm guessing the uh, fake ID or, or the fake passport is for those who couldn't pass a Paragon or a Renegade check. So? So we can still do the forged ideas or we can say they'll let you leave. Well, this way they don't have to risk getting in trouble using forged ideas. Good news, I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I have my ways. 
I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. No, thank you. You're welcome, ladies. Well, now what do I do with the forged ID? I don't have it anymore, I guess. She is reluctantly grateful. All right, so we got uh, Tachanka. Um, all right, we'll tackle those as we get to them. Let's do, all right, someone in the chat said, um, Jacobs or Jacks? You know what? It's been a while since we've done anything for Jacob. Let's do Jacobs. Travel to Aya. This is about his father, right? We picked up a distress call about his father. Ten years ago, Jacob's father disappeared along with the Hugo Gernsback, the privately held frigate on which he served as first officer. Last week, the ship's beacon sent out a distress call reporting a crash on the planet Aya. Jacob would like to investigate. All right, let's go do Jacob. Gernsbrack. Is this going to have the same ad? It seems like you're always on the run, Shepard. If you're not going off the nav beacons to visit the Chlorian migrant fleet, you're exploring the dangerous wreckage on Corliss. But when was the last time you stopped to eat? Wanna pick up a stick of Burgot? Enjoy Batarian culture on the go. And this traditional travel is made. Burgot, the other blue meat. Burgot is composed of levoproteins and is not suitable for consumption by Turins or Corians. The Burgot Export Company assumes no liability for allergic reactions or intestinal parasites in non batarians The other blue meat? What's the first blue meat? Yikes. Rosetta Nebula, 0% explored. Let's explore it. Sorry, one second. Almost done. Sorry. Patience. One second.
All right, thank you for your patience, indulging me with your time. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see, we've got a brand new solar system to explore. Texting p penalties as dragon fan. I know, look, give me a break. There are things I gotta do. All right, uh, there's the fuel depot. We got a planet here. What's this, Goliath? <clears throat> okay, so what is this entire solar system going to be Old Testament? A hydrogen helium gas giant, Goliath's orbit, takes it near the system's mass relay, a useful event for drive core discharges and automated helium-3 refueling platforms. Unfortunately, its orbit is currently taking it away from the relay, and will continue this inconvenience for the next three galactic standard years. We can scan it. Oh, yes. Give me that cathartic scanning day. Down to poor. But usually there's one more big cache. There it is. Probe away. We're still at poor, huh? Eric J says, if you could live on the Citadel for a year, would you take the opportunity? Geth invasion's not included. A year is a long time. I would, I would like to stay on the Citadel. I don't know about a year. It's a really long time. Launching probe. All right, I think we'll leave this be. We already got down to poor status. Oh. Probe launched. Depleted. That's it. That's what I was looking for. All right, next to Goliath, we've got what? David? Philistine? Mizrium. A small gas giant, Mizrium, is primarily hydrogen and methane around a rocky core. There is no remaining trace of the civilization from Joab, wow, on Mizrium itself, but debris orbiting, uh, debris orbiting the planet indicates that artificial satellites were once in place before being destroyed. It's like they got the names out of um, First and Second Kings. I believe Joab was one of David's generals. But I don't remember Mizrium. Probe launched. Moderate. Probe away. Oh, I should probably do upgrades, huh? Launching probe. Probe launched. Launched. Did you know I once made a video game? Several, actually. I made three video games. This was back when I was a kid. I used RPG Maker for the PlayStation 1. 
Back when we had to use memory cards to save our progress. Alright, it's at poor. But I can usually find that one node. Oh! Probe launched. Anyway, I made uh, one sailing game called uh, The Tale of Chloron Hastings. Probe launched. Which I later turned into my first novel. And then I made two other uh, dramatic sort of fantasy games. Ooh. Launching Probe. And I pulled all of the names from my characters out of the Old Testament. So I scoured. Um, ooh, here we go. Probe launched. I scoured the Old Testament looking for good names, and I really enjoyed the story between, or the story about King David and Joab and his son Absalom. And so I uh, used many of those names in my in my games. And one of the main characters was named Joab. It wasn't the main character, but he was the primary character. All right, I think I might give this up. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we got Goliath and Mizrium. One of these is gonna be Joab. Enoch. Oh wait, no, this is Laban. Uh, Don Creep says, hello Ox, you will be my BGM while I'm at the gym. The BGM? Big gym mate? I don't, what does BGM mean? Uh, did you ever play Murdered Soul Suspect? No, I never did. I, I'm happy to be your BGM, Don Creep. But Murdered Soul Suspect, I'll have to look into it. Laban. Laban is a desert world with sea upon sea of scorching hot iron oxide wearing away marbleized cliffs. Its atmosphere is thick and layered with significant levels of oxygen trapped under an upper helium layer. Initially, surveyors detected traces of iridium from orbit, only to find a surprising archaeological discovery. The, the iridium came from bunkers on the surface, blown apart by dreadnought-class weapons. The logical conclusion was that the uh, civilization on Joab had reached Laban, and its outposts here were destroyed to make their extermination complete. BGM equals background music, says Laura. Oh. Joe V says, I can't believe Ox missed my super chat. I'm sorry, Joe V. Give me a, give me a second here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. He says, um, uh, Joe V says, hey, Ox, it's been a while since I caught a live stream, and I'm mostly caught up on your Mass Effect 2 playthrough. As a joke, I wanted to ask, when can we expect a lore video on the Genophage? Lol. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Joe V. Uh, sorry I didn't get to that in a more timely manner. Oh, you know, I'm really enjoying my live streams of Mass Effect, but I don't think I can sit down and do a lore series on the game. I'm, I'm already, it's been, what, six years since I've started my lore series on Fallout, and I haven't even finished that yet, so... I think I can really only stick to one game for lore. And then Jason Semper says, Ox, you fabulous bastard. Have you... If you had to live for one day in any of the games you've played, but it's as yourself and not a character, which game would you choose? One day in any game I've played, but I have to be myself. Oh. Well. Well, day's gone. I'd, I'd probably die pretty quickly. In the Fallout universe, I'd, I'd probably died pretty quickly. Ryzen Zero Dawn, I wouldn't be able to cut it as a tribal. Control would be fun, but I'd, I'd have to play as myself, so I, I wouldn't have any superpowers. Probably Mass Effect, because then at least I can uh, meet some Asari. Spend, some, spend a day with some Asari? Yeah. There are worse ways to spend a day. <clears throat> Laban is rich. On 
launching probe. Probe launched. R says, Ox just wants to go to that bachelor party in the bar. I mean, yes, you got me. I would spend the entire day at that table chatting with all of those guys. They were having great conversations. I wanted to stay there the whole game. <laughs> Get some drinks, watch some Asari, chat with some like-minded aliens. Oh, yeah. Launching pro. All right, now we're down to uh, poor. Oh. Probe away. And we are depleted. All right. Well, well, well. I have detected an anomaly. Joab. Joab is a two-mooned ha uh, habitable planet that is most well known for its mass extinction event. Thousands of years ago, Joab was home to a primate-like space-faring civilization as well as abundant flora and fauna. However, this can only be deduced from time capsules put into the ground well outside habitation centers. All cities and detectable dwellings were targeted in a massive orbital bombardment that turned them into a vapor. The resulting dust shroud killed all photosynthetic life and all fauna dependent on it. Today, humans have recolonized the planet and are rapidly introducing their own species, beginning with uh, cyanobacteria and heterotrophic bacteria to bring a suitable level of oxygen and nitrogen for respiration. Travel advisory atmospheric pressure at sea level on Joab is double that of Earth. Visitors with upper respiratory infections, emphys emphysema, cancer, or a history of thoracic surgery should consult their physician before landing on Joab. We can start the scanner. It's got moderate wealth. Mercenary activity detected on planet's surface. Communications match Blue Sun's encoding protocols. Possible location for rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Blue Sun's intentions unknown. Okay. We can land, but let's finish scanning it. 
launching probe. Because it still has moderate resources. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Come on, give me some element zero, man. There we go. Launching probe. Still moderate. Jeez. Launching probe. Launching probe. Still moderate. Holy cow. Probe away. Now we're at four. Probe away. Launching probe. Depleted. There we go. We can land. All right, Jacob. Let's do this, buddy. Uh, Jacob's... What is he? Is he a biotic? I forget. my man Cerberus operative 15 points Jacob's survival skills and power will live uh, uh, and powerful will to live make him even harder to kill health 40% weapon damage 18% or Cerberus specialist, specialist increases weapon damage health 30% weapon damage 25% uh, well we don't quite get an additional 10% on weapon damage and we do lose an additional 10% on health but as I can resurrect my friends I think I'll go weapon damage heavy pull 9 seconds 12 seconds Impact radius, pull field. Uh, let's do radius. And the rest in incendiary. Blue Suns. I know we're here. Retrieve the artifact. This is the planet that we needed Jacob, right? Nice trip. 
Garrus, what are you doing? Shotgun. Oh. 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 Shotgun. Switching the spots. I memorized where they were and now they're all over the place. Okay, let's see. A bunch of guys came from there. Uh, Alt Grindle says, Hey Ox, Joe V says this isn't Jacob's quest. It's a random one. Oh, well, well, we'll take Jacob out for a spin anyway. Eric J says this isn't Jacob's quest. It's a side quest. Oh, all right. That explains why they didn't force me to use Jacob. Usually they force you to use the, uh, the character whose loyalty mission you're doing. Josh Bunton says wrong planet for Jacob's Ox as you weren't even in the right system. What? I'm in the wrong system? Oh God. Well, sorry everybody. We'll, uh, we'll get there. Do the side quest first. Quick save. Personal locker. down here. We'll explore up there in a minute, guys. Computer access terminal. Outgoing messages request for aid. Commander Santiago, hope you're doing well. We require your services once again in the transport of ourselves, our equipment, and our recovered artifacts. I have dispatched our representative to meet with you regarding the details of the transaction. Given the sensitive nature of our cargo, we expect discretion in this matter. Dr. Farron, Chief Researcher, Exogeny Specialist Project. Incoming message. Let's make a deal, Dr. Farron. Of course you can count on us to offer you escort and transportation. We have sent men and ships your way in good faith. Commander Vito Santiago, co-executive officer of the Blue Suns. Freddy Simmons says you're in the right star cluster, but not the right solar system. Ah, that's what I did. 
Okay, lots of doors here. That's the one we came from. Uh, looks like there's a path. So many paths. All right, let's go this way first. Okay, just leads back up here. Uh, Christopher Lowe says, on the one hand, I have to be up for work in six hours. On the other, you're playing Mass Effect. Who needs sleep, I guess? <laughs> That's right, Chris. Power through it. You can do it. Though, no, don't let my broadcast get you in trouble for work. Just saying. Work and family first. Oxhorn second. Good work-life balance. Can't get a lock. Get through my shield. Can't reach the target. Having way too much fun with my vanguard. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go around the other way. I like this shotgun, but it's really slow. PDA. Lieutenant Locke, once the artifact is secured and in transit, your orders are to take your men and rendezvous with Captain Vorhas aboard the MSV Strontium Mule in the Aaron Larkin system of the Omega Nebula. Assist Vorhas with the capture if needed, Commander Santiago. Recapture the derelict ship. Eric J says, if I remember correctly, there's over 20 side quests. You have to scour the galaxy to find most of them. Awesome. And Joe V says, I've noticed your weapons aren't modded to Cryo or Inferno. They add so much extra damage. You'll know if yours is modded by the symbol each on each weapon. Yeah, I know. What frustrates me is that I have to tag it before each battle. I wish I could just tag it once and um, my options are carried over into the next battle because I keep forgetting. All right, so door down there. Was there anything on this platform up here? No, all right. Uh, hold on. See if there's anything over here. I didn't get to fully scour this before we got attacked. Oh, don't do this to me again, Mass Effect. Ooh. Prothean video log. Complete. 
recovered a Prothean relic, and eliminated the Blue Sun's presence at the dig. Gained 125 experience, gained 7,500 credits, and 500 element zero. Achievement unlocked, operative. Oh, okay. Let's go spend Commander, our- you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Wow. Blue Sun's activity traced from Cerberus Command. We did a little due diligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with Captain Vorhas. The coordinates we obtained at the last known location of the MSB Strontium Mule have been added to your galaxy map. It turns out that the mule is carrying valuable cargo, including intel of a sensitive nature. We'd like you to track down the strontium mule and recover that cargo. Please pass the information to us, and you can keep any other items of value you may find. Do what you will with the Blue Suns. An important request from Mr. Ganak Edgehal Esquire. Dear sir or madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Elos. Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassification from the Cultural Ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, <laughs> enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. Please reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. Best regards, Ganak Edge Hall. Wow. Scammers are alive and well, even in this universe. We can mark that as red. Update on the kid. From Captain Bailey in CSEC. Hey, Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me. Helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your Drell and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there, Bailey. All right, some closure on that quest. Now, uh, let's go upgrade some stuff. Uh, Greg Williams says, Oxhorn, you're awesome. Watching this a little under the weather, feeling seriously fatigued due to work, but will be watching during my day off. No worries, Greg. I'm glad you're here. Sorry you're not feeling too well, but I hope you feel better quickly. Altmaster says, Hey, Ox, just wanted to ask, what benefits you more, being a YouTube member or a Patreon member? Um, it's not what benefits me more because I get about the same amount of money either way. Uh, it's more about what benefits you. My integration with Patreon is nice, but all they allow me to, to offer are um, Discord rewards. Uh, there's no integration between Patreon and YouTube. YouTube, however, allows me to give you badges that appear next to your names and uh, uh, ox emojis that you can use whenever you want to in the chat. Uh, so for your benefit, if you come to my chats more often and comment on my videos, you might want to become a YouTube member. Both of them grant you access to the private members-only channel on my Discord server. Whoops. Sorry, folks. Give me just a sec. had a meeting today that I forgot about. So I'm going to have to reschedule it. Okay. Ship enhancements. Prototypes. Advanced training. 
Shepard can use a single bonus power. What? Hold on, back. Weapon upgrades. Shotgun. Yeah, shotgun shield piercing. Research it. Armor upgrades. Nothing. All right, let's see. Heavy pistol damage. Sniper rifle damage. Ooh, heavy pistol critical. 25,000. I've got it. That's what it's there for. Sniper rifle damage. Oh, that's going to take up all my iridium. Okay, this is element zero. Uh, through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power, and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. Freddie Simmons says, research the M920 cane. It's an awesome heavy weapon. You'll thank me later. All right. Let's do that. Cool. New journal up update. Codex. Weapons, armor, and equipment. The collector. The M920 Kane is a portable particle accelerator surrounding an array of dust form element zero chambers. This weapon prototype subjects its ESO to extreme positive and negative currents to project mass effect fields. By increasing and decreasing mass, the fields shear the target's mass, the way disruptor torpedoes do. The shearing fields collide ambient materials at such high speeds, they create mushroom clouds, an effect otherwise impossible on the small scale. The weapon induces neither fission nor fusion in non-nuclear targets, and its own nuclear reactions are shielded by lead alloys. The M920 Kane uses graphite rods as neutron moderators, which require frequent replacement to sustain power. Fortunately, most heavy weapon ammunition can be refabricated via Omnitool into graphite rods. Joe V says they only reset when you change your weapon at the locker. Otherwise, they should always carry over until you manually change the type. Ah, well, that makes sense. Thank you very much. Greg Williams says, I think YouTube has a little more Oxhorn flair than Twitch or Discord. Well, uh, that is uh, a good observation. Thank you for that one, Greg. Altmaster became a Bronze Ox, and Cat V, a member for four months, and a Bronze Ox. Thank you very much. I rescheduled my meeting for Tuesday. I had a meeting scheduled for today because I didn't think I'd be streaming, but of course the storm changed all that. All right. All right, the Enoch system, 100% done. Alpha Draconis helped Jacob. Twenty-one seventy-five AR two. Still formal, formally unnamed, this planet is a hydrogen helium gas giant with twenty-one moon-sized objects. It's poor. Oh. 
launching probe. Just looking for the big spikes. Probe launched. Launching probe. Mm. I'm getting low on probes. All right, I think we got what we needed from this one. Uh, Three Michael says, Miranda mentioned the first half of Carl Nielsen's Fifth Symphony, which is a masterpiece. Also, the music to the new Dune movie is absolutely epic. Sounds interesting to me. I can't wait to hear it. That's it? Yeah. Here we go. I have detected an anomaly. 2175 Aya, named after an Asari scientist, this remote planet appears to have been on the list of forbidden mass relays that led to uncharted space. Uh, the little data available comes from one far-off probe flyby that reports two planets orbiting a white dwarf star. Your own scans yield far more interesting results. The planet is within the habitable zone of the star. It has oceans of liquid water and a thin nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere consistent with carbon-based plant life. It is possible this is an as-yet-unexplored garden world. <clears throat> Eric J says, quick dad joke, why don't melons get married? Because watermelon can't elope. Watermelon cantaloupe? Thank you, Eric. Nice contribution. And then Day, or Jay DiCarlo says, Miriam is an old name for Egypt. Well, Miriam is also the name of uh, Moses' sister, isn't it? Rich. sensors all right we can land but this planet's rich let's scan it first probe launched launching probe Pro. Good. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Five left. Ooh. Probe launched. And we're down to moderate. Launching probe. And we're down to poor. Great find any more big caches.
Element zero. Probe launched. And we're depleted. Let's land. All right, we got Jacob, and let's get Garrus. M920 Kane. Let's try it out. Codex updated Aya. Humans detected Aya as an Earth type world via telemetry in 2165. After probe surveys indicated life, lush vegetation, ample fresh water, and breathable air, the Alliance upgraded the planet to a garden world colonization priority. Commanded by Captain Ronald Taylor, the crew of Alliance survey vessel Hugo Gernsback made planet fall on the jungle world in 2173. Soon after, ship transmissions inexplicably stopped. While the precise fate of the Hugo Gernsback command and crew is unknown, they are presumed killed in action and their vessel destroyed. Well, we're about to uncover that mystery. Rockland F says Mass Effect Tuesday. See, it works out. All right, all right, I can get you there. Freddie Simmons says, if you hit a concentration with two peaks, move the cursor around until the peak on the left is the highest. Further left equals more rare. Also, don't be afraid to get smaller concentrations of Ezo. Okay, thank you, Freddie. There it is. Wow, what a wreck. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Gurn's back. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Partial officer's log. Along with this anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. Woo. Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Uh -oh. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? 
The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. Whoa. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Hmm. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It must have, after so long. All right, so they ate plants that caused brain damage. And then they began torturing each other? Well, that would explain why some of the crew didn't remember what was happening to them. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the Liar! He will not escape! Heads up! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, wrong gun equipped. All right, Chad is telling me that I forgot to explore the ship. I, I didn't forget. I was going to go over here first. I'll, I'll go back and explore the ship after I kill these feral hunters. This power is just insane. Target down. They didn't have neural decay. They were insane. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Um, Eric J says sci-fi horror has taught me if a ship goes missing, don't search for it. <laughs> In fact, Nuke the site from orbit just to be sure. Yeah, it's taught me the same thing. Aliens. Man of Warp says unsafe deceleration sounds like lawyers speak for a crash. It does indeed. And Joe V says go back. You can board the Hugo Gerns back. You all right? You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Okay, chat wants me to go back to the ship. I go back to the ship.
Doctor's log. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My God, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. Partial crew logs. Creep was using this mind deterioration food to take advantage of some of the people on board. Oh, crap. Three thousand. After a crash, you can't expect the luxury of due 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 process. But this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Cap Cap Captain Fairchild knew this crew crew crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. Doesn't say very good for his father. Alright, well, looks like there's not much more we can explore on the ship. It was all just a bunch of lore. Which is great, that's why I'm here. So, we gotta go back to the ground. so he'll call the sky. Right. wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Oh dear. They look friendlier. from the same group as the ones that attacked us, but these are docile. They're all women. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly, but the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face! <laughs> Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. You are cursed with his face! Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Yikes. All right, this is starting to get pretty dark. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. 
The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Did Jacob's father use this food to make his own little harem? What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Yes, but a worship of what? It's a totem of some kind, but can't tell what it is. Obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Who said that? Your captain demands obedience. Weapons Got some are credits. Uh, Dragon Fan says an Oxhorn Commonwealth Settlement? <laughs> Maybe. I think my settlements would be in a bit of a happier state. Man of Warp says your first African-American squad mate, and they write his father as one of the worst caricatures of tribal warlord. Yikes. I, I, well, Man of Warp, <laughs> the, the race thing didn't even come to mind until now. I doubt very much that the race thing um, went into... Their Your plot Captain development of this uh, character. Oh, it's an inactive mech. You can't do this during combat. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Okay. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. I can't do this in combat. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Oh crap, is this a glitch? Did I knock one of those mechs off the map somewhere? Crap. I think you have to shoot the downed robot, says Do-Rag. All right, I'll try that. Christopher Lowe says, I think it clipped through the floor. Maybe it did. Reload says, Gondro Dim. I will. If I have to. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Right, I'm gonna have to reload, folks. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Uh, Michael Y says, Hey Ox, you won't be doing Mass Effect lore vids, but there are great YouTubers who dedicate a lot of time to the series. Check them out when you're finished. Will do, Michael. Go away. You are like him. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. What? He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Hostiles! <laughs> Your captain demands 
Okay, well, uh, we seem to get through it that time. All right, anything else? Please, it's the doctor here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Ooh. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After, my father took control and didn't stop it. Oh, God. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent, but he allowed here, Shepard. I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Ooh. Maybe he's also suffering from mental decay or something. Are they gonna throw us a situation where he's not responsible for his actions because he was under the influence of the food on the planet? He's covering his ass. The old corpse was posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Here we 
we go. <clears throat> My shields are down. <clears throat> <clears throat> Freddie Simmons says, odd that the people and the droids have been there for 10 years, yet they have weapons that take thermal clips, a technology not introduced until... <clears throat> Technology not introduced until one or two years ago, lol. Yeah, well, uh... Game mechanics. Game mechanics, I suppose. But nice plot hole. Good find. This looks interesting. out son of a bitch hey that's your grandmother you're talking about buddy Reach the target. It took years to train my guards. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. Rescue Torn you. Torn yeah. people away. This thing is not my father. Yeah, they're definitely setting us up for some sort of um mental episode where he can't be held responsible for his actions because he was under the influence of the local fauna. Is what I'm guessing. Man of Warp says, so these women have been uh, ahem, pleasing Ronald Taylor for 10 years, but there's no children here? Double yikes. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is just yikes, yikes, yikes. Hostiles! Better watch for drones. All right, we got a big guy. Let's try out the new M920 cane. Whoa, big boo, 
him. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know what Fire that did, but it was shot. a big boom. father in the eye and hear him justify this. Okay, where is this refined element zero? There it is. Okay, anything else? PDA. And the door opens. Let's see. Eric J says the M920 cane. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, you and me both. Probably should quick save here. There he is. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would 10 years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but 10 years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. Perks? That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. 
probably figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Well... Brandon Beltved says, Wonder if the M920 cane is protected under the Second Amendment. <laughs> Need to see about uh, getting one. Yeah, that was quite a gun. Let's see... We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. Then why point the gun at him? I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We give, shoot him, leave him in the hell he made, or it can't escape the law now. Can we bring him to justice for what he did? I mean, it's Cerberus, but uh, after all, not the Alliance. We can try. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Yikes. What a story. Poor Jacob. Didn't deserve that. One of the most noble guys aboard the Cerberus, and his father tur turns out to be that? Jeez. Well, 750 experience, level 22. Survivors from the IAEA are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. New power for Jacob unlocked uh, barrier. Creates a shield that soaks huge amounts of damage. We get a new outfit for Jacob. We uncovered some heavy pistol damage. We got 30,000 credits and 500 element zero. Achievement unlocked, Ghost of the Father. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Julian Z says, looks like the cane is this universe's fat man. It looks that way. Has a really long recharge time, though. Sarvis the Drow says, now that you've completed Jacob's loyalty mission, you could consider learning his barrier power. It might help you with not dying. Thank you, Sarvis. I may consider that. Man of Warp says, Jacob's writer, Lucas Christensen, is infamous among Bioware fans for having written other really problematic representations of actual and in-game minority characters. This is the first I've heard of it. And are you suggesting that this problematic depiction of uh, Jacob's father is, is in part due to his, his race in the game? Uh, you know, I, I don't know very much about Lucas Christensen or many of the other Bioware games. In this particular instance, we've um, come upon a lot of really horrible stories. I mean, imprisonment and torture of children, brainwashing scientists and murdering them. Like, there's a lot of really bad things that go on in this universe. This is a really awful story. Uh, is it more awful than some of the other stuff that we've come upon in the story? And is it more awful because of Jacob's father's race? I don't know if there's enough evidence to piece that argument together. Um, but uh, then again, I'm not familiar with some of the other um, characters that this particular developer wrote. 
Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine, you didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. And here's another thing. Jacob is probably one of the most noble and principled characters aboard the entirety of the Normandy. Like, if... If... This writer was hell-bent on making um, African-Americans look bad in video games. Why would he make Jacob to be such a noble character? You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. I can't think of a better man aboard this ship, Jacob. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. One time only, we can say, or? Anytime, Jacob. And we get some Paragon. Well, what a tragic turn of events for Jacob's father. Heavy pistol damage. Titan Pulsar. All right. So we could go sniper rifle route. Ah, uh, the thing is, I've I've already just come to terms with the powers I do have. Having too much of a toolkit is a bit overwhelming to me in video games, so I'm not sure if I really want to get advanced training. Maybe I will later, but I've got time for that, so we'll just uh, continue sniper rifle. All right. Let's see, I've got about 30 minutes left. Probably not a lot of time to do much else. But we can start a loyalty mission at least. Tally Treason, Samara, Jack, Lair of the Shadow Broker, Zaid. Firewalker is a short mission, says Pyro. Cerberus's Project Firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Ziona. The ship was carrying researchers and a prototype planet-side exploration vehicle when it went missing. Cerberus has asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any signs as to the whereabouts of these researchers be reported. All right, we can do that. Project Firewalker. Eric J says, Joker. Okay, let's talk to Joker. Um, yeah, let's try Firewalker then. Um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. 
See you, Commander. Okay, so he just has a uh, little introductory dialogue based on the new things we've done. Okay, let's try Firewalker. A lot of probes. All right, where's the mass relay? There it is. It's way over here. It looks like the solar system we need to go to is over here, the Alestia system. Oh, Zaid's is close by too. Joe V says, don't forget to talk to everyone on the ship, too. I don't know if I have enough time. Let's do Firewalker, and if we have more time, we'll, uh, we'll talk to everyone on the ship. Four. Probe away. I think that's good for now. Rich. Probe away. Probe away. Well, we went to good and moderate in one fell swoop. Oh, 
probe launched. All right, that puts us down to four. I tell you what, uh, I'll scan the rest of these planets after we finish this quest, if I have time. I don't want to run out of time an for this. Uh, Ziona has a thin atmosphere of sulfur dioxide and trioxide created by volcanic outgassing. There are traces of water vapor in the atmosphere, but over the last five centuries of observation, particle counts have decreased by 4%. While not habitable by any spacefaring species, there is an abundance of native sulfur-devouring bacteria that thrives around the world's many volcanic vents. Interestingly, these bacteria bear gen genetic similarities to the native life of Ilya, suggesting either a panspermia spread of of microbes via asteroids or accidental contamination of the original environment by careless spacefarers. Rich. Launching probe. Scans have found something. Scans have located the Hammerhead Exploration Vehicle and also show active data storage sites that may contain information as to the whereabouts of Doctors Case and Laoye. We can land. We'll scan for resources after we finish the quest. All right. That's my four. Destroyer, 15 health, 15 damage, negative nine recharge time, 70% Paragon Renegade, 15 power damage. 100% Paragon Renegade, 20% health, 9% weapon damage, 15 power duration. Let's go champion. Subject zero. Uh, 20 health, 18 weapon, negative 25 power recharge. 20 health, 25 weapon, eight, negative 18. Let's do primal vanguard. So we were listening to a broadcast on that terminal, looks like. like this.
Okay, tricky. Okay, uh, there's one above us, and I think there's one below us, too. Oh, way down there? Eric J says, ah, run, Ox is at the wheel again. And you know what that means. That should do it. Mission objectives completed. That's it. there is to this mission? Well, we had fun. Guess that's it. All research collected. Cool. Mission summary, found the wreckage of the freighter MSV Rosalie. M44 Hammerhead acquired. Recovered research data. Got 125 experience and uh, 15,000 credits. Okay, well. You're right, that was a quick mission. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. It could happen to you from Elkos mailing routing. A drow lay in the ocean, dying from Keprel syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The drell saw the wakes and eddies and saw that sometimes the enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. 
He asked the enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly, you were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his corporal syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance and your greatest wish shall come true. Oh God, email in the future, love it. Concerns regarding the keepers from Chorbin. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the keepers if, you f if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something some signal or something about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Chorbin. Great. More doom about the keepers. Thank you, from Leslie. I am Leslie, I was on Aiea, the food made me sick, the doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob, he says he can tell you this, he could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back, I can talk as well. Reading is hard, but I am getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome, Leslie. Prototype recovered from Project Firewalker. Good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece kind of, Commander. It will prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains significant intel on a few planets that Dr. Casey and Dr. Oloy investigated. Eddie has added the locations to your galaxy map. We hope that one of them leads you to the Prothean site. Despite Dr. Casey's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs or journals, it would greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how the Geth are, ta are tracking Dr. Casey, so be careful. All right, well, now we've got time. Let's talk to the crew. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collectorship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? Guess that's it. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler 
Less alcohol and mood music required. <laughs> oh my god, come on, Martin. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but... Effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait, don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's soulless biography bit. <laughs> Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case. Regardless. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, Morden. He's one of the best characters on this ship. Anything else to say, Morden? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything oh, else? Oh, okay. I think we're done. I'll let you were. Oh, we'll we're done talking with Morden. Jeez. Oh, an STD by Varen? Oh, come on, guys. Really? All right. Oh, right. Kelly. Kelly, anything? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Nope, we're good. All right, well, let's see how the fish are doing in our absence. Has Kelly really been feeding them as she promised? Yeah, they're looking good. There you go, buddies. Eat on up. Implications unpleasant. Yeah, tell me about it, Morgan. Jeez. The way he puts it. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Leaks are not terminals on the target skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. 
I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyad were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyad that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Thane is another really well-written character. He's just, he's not as hilarious as Morden, but he's really touching. Really enjoying our conversations with him. Anything else? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Kasumi won't have anything new. Hey, Shepard. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. And the rest He's are all recycled. better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. That's because we did a quest to improve his food. No one in the crew quarters, I don't think. We still have to do her quest, so she's not gonna say anything. Until we do. See if Miranda has anything new to say. She did, after all, send that message to Jacob. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Man of Warp says Thane was written after focus testing an ideal romance option for female gamers. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hey, I'm, I, I, hope, I hope he's a popular character with the ladies. Okay, let's see what's in starboard cargo, Zaid. Anything new? Thinking about past missions. Got a minute, you might learn something. No, we've heard all about his past missions. Shepard. Just checking in, how you doing? Battlemaster. I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. 
Okay. That's all for now, Shepard. Now Jack won't have anything say to say. The Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy is the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself. <laughs> Golly. We still gotta do Tally's mission, so she won't say anything. Alright, I think that's it. Let's do a hard save. Okay, I've got a hard stop, everybody. Uh, we got some interesting quests done and a good loyalty mission done. Next week, we'll pick up with more loyalty missions, finish scanning the solar system to get more of the resources for our upgrades. Uh, tomorrow, I've got uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and then for Thursday, we're going to have a new scary game for Scotch and Smoke Rings, and for Friday, we'll probably pick back up with Death Loop. At least one more broadcast of Death Loop to see if I can get into the game. If not, we'll find something else. But uh, that's the week. A new lore video for the weekend, Fallout 3. Not Fallout 3 Metro, but definitely Fallout 3. And I think you'll like it. Well, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, so apologies again for the shorter episode, but what can you do? Pacific Northwest storms and power outages, you know. But we got there in the, in the end. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you all again uh, very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.